Hey everyone, on this Tip Tuesday, I want to show you how to design a part like this, but uh, design it with purely sketches, uh, making it sketch driven rather than model driven. And uh, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty useful. So if you need to make a pin slot or um, a belt or any, any, uh, any part of that sort, this would be a very useful uh, couple couple useful tips and tricks for you. So let's let's start from scratch. I'm going to turn this off and let's start from the very beginning of how this is made. So what I'm going to do first is go to sketch and uh, create a couple circles. So center diameter circle. I'm going to pick this plane, go to a top view, and I'm going to um, pick a point and give it a diameter. So let's give this 30 millimeters. And I'm going to do I'm going to repeat a circle circle command um, right click go to repeat center diameter, select another point and then set this as let's set this as 60 millimeters. All right, so now I have my two circles um, as my two ends. So now I need a concentric lines to go from this circle to this circle, the edges, the edge of the circle to this circle. Um, so I'm going to go sketch and I'm going to line. Now notice that when I hover over one circle, there's a green X that follows the path of the edge. I'm going to click and hold any on uh, any point of that edge, and notice when I click and hold, uh, there's that there's that green circle that also moves around. That ensures that my line is concentric to the circle no matter where I move. So now I'm going to drag this all the way to the other circle and notice that it will snap and create another circle, green circle, um, telling me that now my line is concentric with the second circle. So now I'm going to let go and now my line is concentric. I'm going to do the same at the bottom. So I'm going to pick any point, pick that point and then the, the green circle appears, I'm going to drag it over, and now the other green circle appears, and I'm going to let go. So now I have concentric lines that uh, connects my two circles. So I'm going to stop sketch. Now I want to uh, delete the inner, this inner, inner edge um, of my two circles. But notice that when I select the circle, it selects the entire edge, and it doesn't just select half of it no matter where I click. Same thing for this side. Now, for me to actually go about and delete this, uh, I can use a tool called Trim Tool. So going to Sketch and selecting Trim, this will allow me to first select the sketch, and now it highlights the inner edges for me to trim. So if I click that, I click that, and now my two uh, inner edges are gone. And now I have a continuous sketch body. Uh, now I'm going to, and before I stop sketch, I'm going to go to offset and offset this uh, outer perimeter uh, inward. So that would create the inner, inner, uh, inner edge. I'm gonna give it, now six millimeters look about right. And I'm gonna go to okay. And then I'm gonna stop sketch. So now I'm going to rotate around, I'm going to select the inner inner surface there, go to right click, press pull, and now I can create my, uh, my body. And there you go, it's that easy. Uh, that's really how you would do that. So to recap, what I did was to get these the concentric line, I uh, clicked and, and held. Uh, left click and held and drag to the other circle and let go. And um, to trim, I trimmed the inside edges. I went to sketch and I used trim. Uh, and then to get this inner inner edge, I just did a quick offset, give it a uh, give it a thickness, and I this is this is what I end up with. So hopefully you guys learned something new today. Uh, and yeah, be sure to look out for another tip next Tuesday. Great. Thanks.